Torian, obviously, uh, the last couple of years, you guys have had you know guys go on to get drafted and have really big years, whether it was Jalen or Cam or, or Darius or whoever it was. I mean, when you look at that group of guys and the group of guys you now have, what is it about those guys that allowed them to develop quickly? And then what? how do you kind of maybe take what you did with those guys and apply it to this year's group? Well, when you're talking about Jalen Foster, Jalen was just full of intangibles. Um, wasn't the biggest guy or the fastest guy, but very high football IQ and just wanted to do everything the right way. When you talk about Darius Rush and Cam Smith, those are guys who were tall and long and could already run. They just had to um, get reps and be developed and watch it on film and continue to get better, which I give those guys credit that they um, did a great job of doing that over the two years that they were here and now put themselves in positions to get drafted. Uh, Nick even worry was in here yesterday saying there's no such thing as a perfect freshman season. He still feels like he has a lot to get better at. What's your kind of take on his development and what is next for Nick this spring? Um, the thing with Nick, um, as far as tackling, I told my, my thing with him, he started off the year. I thought he was one of the best tackling guys in the country. Now, there's no perfect freshman. There's no perfect freshman season. So I thought we kind of tailed off and um, – at the end as far as being consistent with some of our tackling and things. And then we always tease him and challenge him, hey, we got to make plays on the ball, you know, whether it be pass breakups, whether it be eye inceptions, getting depth in my deep zones away from the ball, not misstepping on my run and pass reads, all the little detailed things that's going to help him um, be more productive and not miss plays when we have opportunities. Uh, O'Donnell Fortune really kind of had a breakout in the Gator Bowl, what difference have you seen in him coming into spring ball this year compared to maybe last year? It's amazing year? what what having success in a, in a, in a Gator Bowl did for him. Um, he came back um, academically. He's doing off the charts. Football-wise, he's been great. Um, just all his things have been positive, been going in his, in his life. So we're watching him mature before our eyes. So we just hope we can keep O'Donnell in that, in that realm because right now he – you know, he's kind of just taking off and staying even killed. So hopefully we can keep him in, in that in that sphere. Hey, Torian, I mean, going back to one of the questions that Ben asked you and, and Shane mentioned and some of the guys as, as well yesterday, building relationships with players. You know, you've been here for two years. Some of these guys, you've had to earn their trust really quickly. I mean, had guys that came in like a Carlin's Patel. Mm -hmm. What is it that you feel like helps you develop those relationships so that you can take down that wall and be able to – you know, help these guys take their game to the next level? Um, well, well, hopefully hopefully they know I love them, first of all. Um, they may not thank it because I coach them hard, but it's it's out of love and I'm trying to get the maximum out of them. And I, and I think deep down they, they really know that. And, you know, to get a guy and only have one year with him or, you know, you're coming in a new staff and you got Jalen Foster for one year, for them to buy into what you're trying to preach into them, you got, they got to know you love them and they got to know – that you're telling them the right stuff. And, you know, I'm very demanding in doing it. So I've just been fortunate that those guys have trusted me and um, been able to have enough relationships where they can be productive um, football players too. With some of the, the new guys that you got, whether it's D'Angelo Gibbs, who's <laughs> been around for a while, or, or Kilgore, who's, who's fresh out of high school, what, what have you seen from We got all ranges. Guys? We got all ranges. So D'Angelo Gibbs, he's been around for a long time, I remember. Recruit him. I was still at Virginia Tech, and I haven't been there in a long time. So, um, but we call him OG, you know, um, at this point. Um, so he's been around for a while, but he's been great for our room. Um, the other new guys, um, Jalen Kilgore. He's a freshman, so you're gonna get what freshmen do. There's a learning process to him, but I really like his um, his talent and his skill set, and he'll continue to get better. Judge Collier is a new. New body force. Um, again, a true freshman coming in mid-year, so they're adjusting to school, him and Kilgore, and trying to learn his playbook and trying to learn his plays, and you got a coach screaming at him. But um, I, those two really say Judge brings length and he can run, and, you know, Kilgore's the same way. So it's just continuing to develop their skill set, and um, we're in practice five right now. I love to see where they're at once we get to the spring game. So it's kind of exciting to see the process. Obviously, D.Q. Smith had a lot of time on the field last year. How has he developed heading into this year? Um, similar to Nick, you know, you, you, you come out of high school and we're throwing you out there in the SEC. And um, there's some growing pains that go with that. But 
I tell you what, he's a pro in everything that he does. And it's great to see him continue to be a pro and take the next step. Like I talk about as a freshman, you know, there's a, you're just out there kind of playing and you're trying to figure it out as a way. And now there's a lot more detail to where we want to get in his game and things like that. And he's approaching it the right way to continue to get better and build upon last year, much like Nick. And at, at the nickel spot, Gibbs, we see Gibbs there. He's a bigger body guy than mm -hmm. I guess Banks is there, who's you know not a, a big big DB. Mm -hmm. And I guess Keenan Nelson is sort of in between. So <laughs> how nice is it to have, or, or is it nice to have kind of that variety of, of body types that can fit in there? Uh, it is. It is. Um, you you play different types of teams. You know, if you play a team that's only going to have two tight ends in a game and not three wide receivers or two running backs and one tight end in a game. We got body types or a coach can play, you know, bam, who's a bigger body. But, you know, now you're playing teams that are spraying you out. We got different body types that will be able to match up different personnel. Turing, this might be a little general, but, I mean, a lot of places there's a coach for corners, there's a coach for safeties, and, and obviously you're coaching the whole group. I guess – how do you make it work? I guess what's kind of gone into it? I guess how uh, what's it kind of been like having all of those guys under kind of your umbrella? Um, I love it. You know, um, you know, when you're coaching one spot, sometimes it's like, man, damn, man, those safeties, man, they, they, they ain't looking at the right things or they ain't, man, they ain't practicing hard or whatnot. So, you know, um, or those corners, man, if you're coaching the safety. So, you know, I love it. I get the you know, I, 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 there's a lot that goes into it, and our guys do a great job of, um, you know, buying into it with everybody being in the same group. And, you know, but, you know, I, I love it that way personally. I hope I answered your question. Yeah. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got two, I don't want to say steady, but pretty solid safeties now with DQ and Nick. But how has the rest of that group come along? Maybe a guy like Peyton Williams, is he kind of challenging at all right now? Yeah, Peyton is – was a true freshman. He's he's no different than DQ and Nick from that standpoint. So he was learning and he still is learning, but I'm excited about where Peyton is progressing. So you got, you know, DQ, you got Nick, you got Peyton who are all true sophomores, but um, I feel real good about those guys. And then we got to bring up other guys along at the safety position. But, you know, those, those three gives us a solid foundation. Torin, I know you probably know better than anyone else having played for Frank Beamer, but seeing some of the younger guys in special teams, defensive back specifically, go out there, make impacts out there, and just being able to be team players, doing whatever they can, how have you seen those guys be able to elevate now as they try to grow their role and expand and try to play a, a role on defense this year? Well, um, say a guy like um, Banks last year, you know, if you're not going to play a lot on defense, you got to be able to help out the team on special teams. So um, that's, and, and we emphasize special teams a lot. So for those guys, if they're not gonna get on defense right away, say your, your true freshman that's coming in as they're learning the defense, they can go out there and be big factors and make plays and help this team win games. On special teams, you take the first game of the year last year, DQ had a you know, fumble return, a punt block for a touchdown and, and things of that nature. So until you're Defensive role is more defined, man. You got to be able to help us out on special teams, and those guys embrace that. We try to preach that. All right. Thank you, guys.